Hey everybody, this is Andy from Arm Length Interviews. Eddie can't be with us tonight, but I have a special treat for you guys. A unboxing of the new PlayStation DualShock 4 wireless controller for the PS4. Now, uh, I walked into my local video game store to um, put down the rest of my deposit on my PlayStation accessories and whatnot for the PlayStation 4. And they said, hey, we just got these in. Do you want to leave with it tonight? Less to carry later. And I said, sure. So here we are. I have this controller. Let's uh, check it out. So first of all, we're going to lift off the top. Ah, look at this. Now this is something interesting to note right off the bat before I do this. Notice the box now. Uh, I know they've been doing this with the new DualShock 3 controllers, putting it in a box like this, because they used to have the old blister packaging that required minor surgery to open. You would get out your X-Acto knife and make a really awful cut and risk losing digits. And I guess Sony finally realized that, oh, well they need those digits to play video games, so now we're going to do boxes. Which is nice, because it makes things much easier. So let's just slide this out here. Look at that. Slides right out. No worries, nothing to cut. The uh, blister packaging just lifts right off. There we go. Ooh, we got something else in here. Oh. We have an instruction manual. In French. We want English. Because that's the uh, language we speak. So there it is. Notice that it does not come with a USB charger. So here we go, folks. We have the DualShock 4 wireless controller. Looks very nice. Very sleek. On the bottom here, we have an external jack right there. Not sure what that does yet. I guess we'll find out. And we have a headphone jack. Coming up, we have the PlayStation button right there. A little speaker. We have the touchpad, which is clicky. Feels nice. Get some fingerprints on it. Look, they go away, though. It's nice. We have the share button up at the top there. And on the other side, we have the options button. And everything looks really nice about this. Um, one thing to note is that rubberized back that I at least thought it was rubberized is just hard plastic. Um, yes, it feels nice. It's got some, feels good in the hands. Um, I was expecting either rubberized grip or I was expecting some kind of Batman Kevlar kind of thing, but looks like that's not happening with this. It is just plastic. It feels a lot lighter. The control overall has a nice weight to it. Uh, the face buttons feel nice. The D-pad, as always, feels great. You can tell that the um, thumbsticks feels better in your hands. Um, they feel a little lower. They're definitely a little tighter than what I'm used to, but that may be because my PlayStation 3 DualShock controller is kind of old, and I've had it for five to seven years. Go to the top here, and we have the light bar, which will work with the PlayStation camera. Here's the USB port to charge it, and the buttons at the top. Now this is a great feature right here. Notice how they're now a concave Kind of design. Notice how the uh, new design shows it that it has a nice little lip on it now. Right there. And it, uh, when you put it down, they don't push in. Unlike the DualShock 3, which is where when you push it down or put it on the couch, you risk fast forwarding your film or whatever other such nonsense would happen with it. Also to note is if you look at the DualShock 3, right there, versus the DualShock 2, mine's really old and crusty looking. You can see the big difference here is the analog button, but they also used to have a nice little lip, so when you set it down, look what happens. Nothing happens to those back buttons. Change that for the DualShock 3 to where now they push when you push on it, and now we have the DualShock 4, no longer happens, which is nice. Sony was thinking of us. You'll notice with the side-by-side -side of the DualShock 3 that the DualShock 4 is definitely bulkier. It's got a nice, sleeker design than the DualShock 3. 
which looks a little more squarish at the top or trapezoidal. This looks a little more, I don't know, kind of like they were going for that. Yeah, elongated, it kind of looks like the boomerang controller from before, which I thought was a good idea. Most people did not. I'm sure I'll get flamed for that one. That's okay. So there it is, folks. The DualShock 4 controller. Looks very nice. Can't wait to actually try it out with some games. Uh, I guess we'll find out in 21 days. I can't believe it's that soon. That's great. Not soon enough though, right? Okay. So on to the next section of the PlayStation unboxing, unveiling for the PlayStation 4 accessories. We have the PlayStation camera. So let's just get our X-Acto knife in here and cut away. And in here and cut away. There we go. Let's lift this out. See if this is just as easy as the other part. It is. Everything looks nice. Ooh, we got a whole bunch more stuff in this one though. That's good. Let's check it out. Let's get rid of these guys. So we have the um, instruction manual. This time showing the English section first. There we go. Shows how to attach it to the now included PlayStation camera to a stand, which it shows right here, which is nice. Let's check out the stand. Ah, looks like it bends. Ah, that's nice. Very, very springy feeling. That's nice. Ah, it's got hinges. Nice. Check out those hinges. Look at that hinge action. Very nice. That's nice. Okay. So let's move on to the actual camera itself. Ah. It is a camera. Got some swivel action going right there, which is nice. The uh, dedicated PS4 connector uh, hooks into the auxiliary input of the PlayStation 4 in the back. Looks like it's got a pretty decent sized cable. Let's open this up and uh, see what this looks like. Yes, that is a long cable. Let me just show you. Ooh, it just keeps going and going. I think it's about two meters. Yeah, I'm going metric, even though I'm in America. It just makes more sense, doesn't it? We'll keep that on there for now. So there's our PlayStation camera. So how the stand works is you just line up that little section right there with the section right there. And nice satisfying click right into place, which is nice. We're gonna get rid of that for now because we don't need that. What I do wanna talk about is the placement this time around of the power cord. That was one of my biggest complaints with the old PlayStation Eye. And I have that right here with the PlayStation I for PS3. You notice that when you have that cord in the back, you can never quite get it to sit where I wanted it to. I don't have a lot of real estate in, in front of my television, so I would need to drag the cord around and you know this would turn 10 degrees the way I didn't want it to every single time. The same with my old, really old, crappy, PlayStation 2 eye toy. So it looks like they've managed to fix that with a new one, which is really nice. Now this will be on the side. There's the stand. This will be on the side. Looks good. So what we have now with the new PlayStation Eye camera is two high sensitive cameras with wide angle lenses on either side. They have an 85 degree diagonal angle view. Um, this will enable you to log into PlayStation 4 with face recognition which should be noted that the uh, 300 megabyte download on day one, uh, the patch that's required, uh, that's where we'll get the face recognition and voice commands. Uh, the voice commands can be used to navigate the now named PlayStation Dynamic Menu, which replaces the cross media bar. 
and you can use uh, your voice to start games and shut down the system. When compared to the old PlayStation cameras, this one shoots at three different resolutions, 1280 by 800 at 60 frames per second, 640 by 400 at 120 frames per second, and 320 by 192 at 240 frames per second. Now this is a marked improvement over the PS3, which only did 640 by 480 at 60 frames per second and 320 by 240 at 120 frames per second. Whereas the PS2 iToy only did 320 by 240 at 60 frames per second. So what else is there to say about the PlayStation camera? As far as I know, the only thing that's been announced for it is Just Dance and the Playroom. Sony's been keeping tight-lipped on what this thing will do, but I'm a sucker for accessories. As you can see with this little gem, yeah, I bought one of these. <laughs> I think I used this thing three times. That was it. Anyway, back to the camera. So there isn't a lot coming out for the PlayStation camera as of yet. With the iToy, fool me once, shame on you. With the PlayStation Eye, fool me twice, shame on me. And now with the PlayStation camera here, fool me three times, my parents are possibly cousins. Hey, the jury's still out, but there you have it, guys. PlayStation camera and the PlayStation DualShock 4. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I don't normally do these unboxing videos, especially by myself. Next time, Eddie will be here with me, and we'll be up to more shenanigans with arm-length interviews. Thanks for watching. Oh,